If your goal is to minimize costs while still maintaining the performance of your metalworking fluids, an excellent concentration control program needs to be in place for every single of your metalworking fluid applications. Concentration of metalworking fluids can be measured in several different ways. One of the most popular is refractive index. Uh, refractometers offer some significant advantages over other methods. However, there are some serious disadvantages as well. The biggest advantage with a refractometer is that it's low cost. The instrument itself costs less than 100 bucks. It takes very little training. In 5-10 minutes you can get an operator up to speed in terms of what it takes to pull a sample and actually evaluate that sample using the refractometer. It's accurate on clean fluids, so when you're doing an initial virgin charge um, you get good accuracy there. And there's very little time between pulling the sample and actually getting the result, which is again a, a significant advantage. The disadvantages, however, is that as the fluid gets more and more contaminated, because refractive index relies on the bending of light, it starts to read contamination as actual concentration, which again can uh, skew the results and therefore a facility can believe that they're running at a certain concentration when they're not really at that concentration. It requires calibration, so you need controls in place to ensure that the unit is being calibrated on a, an ongoing basis. Uh, we don't want to suffer from garbage in, garbage out. And as the fluid gets aged, as it gets older, the, the, the reading itself gets more and more fuzzy, more and more blurry. Whereas with virgin fluids, you have a nice crisp line that's easy to read. As the fluid ages, it gets blurrier and leaving it open to interpretation where two different people are going to give you two different results associated with what's really going on in the sump itself. So in conclusion, the advantages are significant. However, the disadvantages are significant as well, and therefore, Refractive index should not be used alone in terms of implementing a good, robust concentration management strategy. It needs to be used in conjunction with some of the other measures, because the other measures also have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. But if you're able to pull data from a number of different sources, you can get a much better idea of what's actually going on, much better opportunity to control your costs and minimize potential impact of a sump that's not being controlled well.